Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial video from IPCS Automations. In this tutorial video, we are going to look at how to program your NodeMCO using Arduino IDE in order to connect to the Tinker IO IoT platform. For that, open your Arduino IDE. I had already made a program in here and I had already installed the suitable libraries for my NodeMCU and Thinker.io. Here in this program, these two header files are used to connect your NodeMCU to the Thinker.io IoT platform through internet. You have to provide a username, your device ID and your device credential. Well, these three are used to authenticate your device to the Tinker IO IoT platform connectivity. And you have to also provide your SSID and the password of your local Wi Fi in order to connect your NodeMCU to the internet. By executing this statement, your NodeMCU will connect to the Tinker IO cloud. In the setup function, I had declared my digital IO pins D0 to D5 as output and my analog pin A0 as input. By executing this statement, my NodeMC will connect to my local Wi Fi and to my Thinker IO IoT cloud. In this statement, I am telling the NodeMC that. I am using the digital pin D0 as a digital output pin. I am telling the Tinker IO Cloud that I am using this D0 as an output pin and I am naming it as D0 so that I can select this D0 as a device resource for my widget. Similarly, for these digital IO pins. And I am using my GPIO pin D5 as an unlock pin and I am naming it as D5 and I will be getting a PWM up from this pin. Well, in my circuit I had connected a potentiometer to my unlock pin A0. Now if I rotate my potentiometer the voltage input will be changed and the corresponding value will be updated to the a0 channel. In the loop function, it will execute thing.handle function and the changes I make in my dashboard will be updated with my hardware also. Now go to your dashboard and I had already created a dashboard in here according to my program. Now if you click on these widgets, your output will be changed according to the dashboard. And if I change my potential meter, the value will be updated in my A0 channel. And if I slide on this B5 slider, I'll be getting a PWM output on my GPIO pin D5. Similarly, you can add more widgets and output values, sliders, or gauges in your dashboard. Well, that's all for today. Subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos and don't forget to press the bell icon for our latest updates. Thank you.